testing, testing, one, two, three. Four, five, un, deux, trois. Un, deux, trois, trois. <laughs> quatre, quatre, cinq, six, <laughs> sept, huit, <laughs> neuf, dix, onze. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have got a special guest. Woo. Mia B. <laughs> Mia, you're actually Mia the... B. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you're actually the first person on my channel. Woo! Oh my god! We should celebrate. Yay. Where's the champagne when you need it? We are here in France this week for the Amundi Evian Championship and just look at this view. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It is unbelievable. So we're on the lake course over at the Evian Resort. That's where they're playing this week. Uh -huh. It's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's just like <laughs> literally the best par three course. It's six holes, which we forget about every single time we play. Yeah. We think it's nine. <laughs> What's that about? I don't know. We should know this by now. But it has the most spectacular view you will ever see in your whole entire life like I can't even describe it to you and even better it's a really good workout because it's so hilly we are we've got quads today quadzilla is coming out so the reason of this video I'm actually going to give Mia a chipping lesson and we're going to work on these really awkward chips that when you just miss the green by a smidge but then you can't put like how do you tackle those mm. so it's a really sort of difficult part of the game a lot of people but struggle crucial. with this Oh, absolutely. If you can get up and down from here, you can mm. keep your momentum going, save par, maybe I mean, birdie. I putt from everywhere. I, I putt from yeah. If in doubt, what does Mia do? She Put parts. it out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go through sort of the setup, how to tackle the shot, just the explanation behind why. I think you've got this. And then hole a few, you know, how it is. <laughs> absolutely, just what we do. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're going here from where Mia is to the sneaky pin position, which is just a few yards onto the green. Mia, so first of all, I just want you to hit a, a few shots of how you would normally play this shot. So what club do you have? I've got a 56. I would okay. usually take a putter. Um, but I forced you to take a wedge because <laughs> we're chipping. We have. No putters allowed. Shall I talk you through what I would usually do in this yeah. situation? Yeah, so just tell me what you're thinking. Okay, bearing in mind... I'm a solid amateur golfer, as in, I'm very, very amateur. <laughs> so what you, is hot, me, you need to explain, is that Mia uses her putter because she holds out from everywhere. <laughs> if, I do like a yeah. mega putt. <laughs> in a scramble, I'm always like, Mia, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I always hold out, I just love it. So this grass is... It's, it's quite, sort of... It's all right. It's, yeah. It's nice, actually. It's Absolutely. quite nice for edge of the green grass. It's not too grabby. We played some courses with really grabby grass. Yeah. That is a whole separate video in itself. This is our, like, super technical term of the grass. Yeah. Grabby <laughs> grass. Every time it's like, oh, that was grabby grass. So what I usually do is I'll have the ball middle, back front, depends on how I'm feeling. Okay. Uh, depends on whether I want to play it slightly low or slightly higher. Yeah. Basically. Okay. And then I'll have my feet close together, my foot slightly turned out, Yep. with hips slightly open just because I'm not going as far back. Like it. Um, this is what I think is really important. So where my club face is angled, I yep. want it to be straight at the pin. Yep. I never actually think this much usually when I chip, I just go for it. So this is quite good, I'm talking it through. But this is what you should sort of be doing on the golf course as well, just to get yourself into the routine of it. Mm. Rather than a lot of people go on the course and just rush and it's just like, ah! Then all of a sudden they go, why have I just topped it? Yeah, that's me. That's <laughs> like, me. We've even thinking what you were doing. <laughs> so yeah, I want this perfectly straight towards that pin. And then the motion I'm going to do, honestly, it's just a straight line. Yeah. So straight line back, forward, back forward like gently brushing the grass not hitting particularly not trying to take a huge divot no just, just like a it. gentle brush but then slightly more it depends how far I mean it's not super far right no it's, it's so a very it's very a tricky hit. shot this there we go that's good right that's let's go for do. a few oh my word I saw you <laughs> hold it imagine that cut <laughs> lesson <laughs> over and I've not said anything that was actually quite good I'm not gonna lie so we'll do another one. Yeah. So the reason why you would go for your putter more from here, is it more of a confidence thing? Yeah, I just don't trust my chipping. I okay. don't practice chipping nearly enough like I should. Yeah. Most people don't and mm. short game's half of the game and people just literally don't practice it. Yeah. I think because you find more like driving ranges and putting areas, whereas chipping areas are a bit more difficult, difficult to find. To, yeah. yeah. Or it's no, no chipping allowed on the putting Yeah, game. literally. That's not Big helpful. Big sign. You know what? Thinking. 
That's it, the answer to help. everything. The thing is, you guys know more than you think you know, but you just don't do it because... And I think sometimes think. it's sort of you're talking yourself through it. it. It just reminds you in a way as well. Yeah, because shipping, a lot of it is set up. Yeah, yeah, and exactly. Then, if you can hit it right. And then believe that you're actually going to get it near the flag. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Okay, right, let's go for this again. It's a really short distance. It's actually quite tricky, but... I think that, would you say that the thing you struggle most with is the connection with the ball? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't even know any drills. I don't know any yeah. games that you play with chipping. I know yeah. nothing. So, well, the thing is, the first two there, you struck really well. The last one, feel a little bit chunky, mm -hmm. like you caught the grass a little bit behind. Right, so I'm just going to get these balls and I'll just talk you through okay. why that happens. Yeah, I actually don't know. I know a lot about putting. Chipping, I just... A whole different ball game. And no one's really taught me. Here we go, then. First Before time for everything. <laughs> All right, talk okay, to me. So. In terms of your setup, it's actually really, really good. The only thing that I would change is you're sort of setting up with the club shaft, I'll show you here, a bit more sort of down this angle, like you'd be hitting a full shot. So what this does, it actually encourages a bit more of an arc this way. So I want it so, more upright. Yeah, so you know before when you were saying you were trying to hit more of like a straight line with your mm -hmm. swing, you're actually making it hard for yourself. Right. So as the club shaft's more here, the toe's up a little bit more and it will arc. Even if you're trying to hit it in a straight line, it still will follow the curve. So dead right, you want the toe down, heel up. And then the other thing, I would just grip down on the club a bit more. Just okay. so you feel like you've got full control of it. Because you were literally holding it at the top. Is that which, just because it's short? Yeah, or think, is it for all chips? It depends how you feel. So definitely for more of a short a short shot so then you, you're going to sort of take more off the shot but then secondly if I've got um, like different shots around the green I do it just so I can gain a bit more control I would never really grip right at the bottom and I've got say 50 yards but definitely around the edge of the green very close to the bottom of the grip okay. and then so your reason you do it more control and you can take a little bit of yardage off there as well if you wanted to and so, because I'm gripping down a bit, do I need to be yeah. more bent over? Do I need to be more sat down? Like so, set up to the ball and just see how you naturally want to stand to it. Um, and also, where is my weight? Am I meant to be putting it forward on my Yeah, chips? so anything below half a swing, I always say 70% of your weight on the left side. Okay, so let's put more weight on my left side. This is slightly up. Yeah, so see how you can just get your finger under the heel there. Mm -hmm. More up, this is more up. Yeah, that's it. So does it not give you more of a feeling like it's a putter? Which I'm sure you would like. I would love a putter. <laughs> this is an illusion, it's a putter now. There we go, <laughs> actually, I'm sold. I love it. Right. So you'll be able to do the stroke that you've been trying to do, mm. just straight back, straight through like a putter. Okay, mm -hmm. like this? Yeah, that's it. So when I grip down, I probably bend a little bit more from the waist rather than you don't want to be doing this to try and get down to the ball. Oh, well, that was all yeah, right. Yeah, that, that was good. Up. That was. And it's just going to take sort of that digging motion mm. into it as well, which you didn't do before, but it's just as you want to completely get rid of the chance of that happening. That's good. Let me just see. Do you feel like 70% of your weight's on that left side? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. That's Superwoman right. <laughs> coming in. Don't know why I did that. All right. Yes. Oh, that there was we nice. go. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> well, see that how one, it was that like... one felt really good because it came off a bit more. Yes, here. and you sort of just nipped it off the top. That's actually fun. Yeah, that was really. You know what? Really Chipping's good. fun if you know how to chip. If you don't, oh. it's not very fun. Oh, it's the worst thing in the world if you're thinning chips across the green and you've basically got a longer chip back. That's when you reach for the putter. And then people don't it's just play. Not fun. People don't chip on the course then. And then there's nothing worse than getting a shot that you've not really practiced. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's set up nicely. This is good. Slightly open, bent yep. over, toey, down, shaft up. That's really Gripped good. down. All of this is in setup, so yeah. when I then go to hit, all of this is already done and I only have to think about that backwards forward stroke. Totally, because the swing's that short, you're not really wanting any swing thought going on there. Yep, exactly.
Right. So with your swing me, which is really good, you actually, because you do like putting and you said you wanted to try and just do a straight mm. back and yeah. straight through line, you actually aren't really doing anything with the hands, which is great. So you're wanting it to, well, you see a lot of people to, trying to hinge and then trying to scoop mm. it up to try and get some loft, but you're not wanting loft on this shot. You just want to literally, <laughs> yeah, just bump it over the rough, roll it up and knock it in. Um, so should yeah, I have much movement in my leg? I, I don't know if I'm just doing this and not moving at all or whether I should... Yeah, so there shouldn't be any movement in the hands, so they're quite fixed, so that's like your putter stroke. But with chipping, you always do want to keep everything moving. Mm. But because your weight's on the left side and you've kept it there, that will help with that anyway. Maybe I've not been moving, I don't really know. You don't want to be going for like a full-on <laughs> finished position. <gasps> Oh, excellent. That Look at that though, it's like stone dead. I've honestly never been this good at chipping, yeah. quite frankly. I knew you'd like, really like it though, because it is, you're so good at putting, it's just... It is similar to putting. Work. Yeah, just a different I club. love putting. Okay. It's my favourite thing to do. It honestly is, I love a long putt. Oh. Don't worry, so see that one there, how it was literally, you didn't move your body at all. Yeah. Got a bit too ahead of myself, didn't I? <laughs> Thought I was an absolute chipping queen. <laughs> That's it. Straight back, straight through, and just keep the body turning through. Excellent. Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Come on, that, getting close. But less. Very good. Look, see how you're naturally wanting to grip down the club ball now. Yeah, because I'm thinking about it though, yeah. so it's super easy to be like, hit another, hit another, hit another. Quality over quantity. Fantastic. Oh! <gasps> look at these now. Yeah, it's looking good. But you've seen yourself, you can do it now. You're just going to gain more confidence with it. 100%. This is actually, this is actually way more fun. Now I know how to do this. Okay. I've got a 60. Yeah, okay, so I've just given me her 60. We've moved back by two yards, but the whole shot changes. See now how you've got way more rough to work with than green. So that's why I've given you your, you your 60 instead of your 56. But I still want you to do exactly the same thing. But this is going to go higher, no? It'll go higher, but I st you'll have to swing a little bit further back. Okay. But you want the height because you've, it's like two thirds rough, one third green. I never use this club. Okay, that's why I took the wrapper off it. Oh. No. <laughs> you know what? Because I've got two wedges. I'm like, I just, <laughs> I'm happy with one. <laughs> but apparently, I should have two. Look at this now. We're doing all the, uh, all the bows to the arrow. Yes. But see, it was just the exact same swing. Mm. Yeah. But you're just thinking a bit more about what's in front of you and why you would choose what club. I feel like I've got more control. It sounds weird, but I didn't, usually I use my, I was going to call them chippers. <laughs> oh my word. A chipper would not be allowed in any video. <gasps> Do you not like them? I think it's quite funky. <laughs> They're quite funny. Mm. No, I feel like I've got so much more control with my wedge because I used to take a wedge and I had no clue mm -hmm. how far it was going to go. Okay, well, you're pitching wedge or? No, these wedges. Oh, these like, wedges, yeah. okay. And I'm that like, I have no idea more, how far it's going to go, but just by gripping down, I feel more like... Yeah, I'm... well, that's the thing is, when you are chipping, it is sort of the same feeling and how far back you would swing your mm. arm to if you were throwing it there. Nice. Oh, <gasps> that was this. good. Yeah. You're going to be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch me. Putting and Get my handicap wizard. down. <laughs> oh, not quite enough. Oh. Fine, absolutely oh. fine. Oh. Oh. oh, how did that not go in? <laughs> that was actually really good. It I'm was. Kind of, I'm impressed with myself. <laughs> Done a good job out here today. You know what? I actually benefit from a little bit of coaching. I wouldn't say... Just have a little bit now and again. Yeah, you that's what I mean. don't want to become overwhelmed with it all. Like, you just need a little bit of someone to tell you what you need to do. And then, in general, you do... Well, I find I pick things up quite quickly. Yeah, you do, definitely. But I need someone to tell me what to do, otherwise I'm like... Ooh. Well, the thing is with you as well, is when you start looking at things, you actually then go, Hannah, I've been working on this, 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 and this, 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 this. And it's just, you can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking you're about, like, girl. 
one or two swing thoughts, go away, practice them, and yeah. then you can get ready for the next bit of information. I think actually the best thing, if you want to add more swing thoughts, use different clubs. So you can have three swings for three. Three, <laughs> just three left. Three. three swing thoughts for, say, your irons, then yep. three swing thoughts for your putter. So you're still getting all of that information you have. But Absolutely. There's so many aspects to the game. It's not just one yeah. swing, is it? That's if you were, we're to do like about. 20 swing thoughts for my wedge, then oh I would be word. overloaded. Yeah. Like you say, a lot of the thing with this short shot, if you can get the setup correct. Oh, that was a duff. So a little bit early. So let's get that club up a little bit more. So you want to... Yeah. That was a better strike. She's losing it. Do a couple of practice swings. Don't just go ball after ball. That's so much better though. Yeah, it feels a lot better. Because the thing is, the motion was really good. It's just you were making it a little bit harder for yourself with the setup. Yes, here. She's back. She's back. Back she in back, business. Baby. <laughs> Probably does benefit just to hear the sound of the grass to know that. Yeah. Well, the that, you strike is good. Just brush it. You look go, at go. this. Right, now look I at those. I can put all of those. Like, I'm going to show you. I can get all these in with my little oh, wedge. Oh, the wedge is the new favourite club now. The wedge. The putter's been relegated. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, here she goes. Three Yay! out of three. One club is all needed for any short game. Really? If someone told me how to actually putt with your wedge is you don't like you basically put it halfway up the ball and you almost just like top spin it yeah and it stops it bobbling and it lets it roll and is that if if you're lazy and you've left and your that's for lazy in the people bag, like me <laughs> yeah really useful tip but yeah if, if you ever wanted putter, to know 100 yards away you can do it with the wedge i'm really loving this like to know on the channel please drop it in the comments below i can be your guinea pig she can be your coach and together we're going to become scratch golfers yep, yeah baby <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell for notification hit that <laughs> we're going to work on that hannah don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification oh, bell so you never in. miss a video and we will catch up with you very very, very soon. soon bye bye, -bye. thanks hannah <laughs>